how to set up your emails across all the Apple devices. So we're going to show you how you can set it up on your desktop, also your iPad, and also your iPhone. We're going to use in the IMAP protocol that allow you to mirror the uh, content and your actions across all your devices. So if you receive an email on your iPad and you've answered it and sent a reply, if anybody logs in on your desktop, you'll be able to see that that email has been act actioned and dealt with. So the first thing we're going to need is a couple of settings. So if you haven't got it set up on any device and you need to get access to it immediately, you're going to need webmail. So for that, you're going to need your email address and your password, your internet, the, the guys that have done your website or your hosting, nine to 10, we've got webmail access, so you can access it there from any machine, even if you haven't set it up. After that, to actually get it on the devices properly, we're going to need additional information. So we're going to need your IMAP mail details so it might be imap.yourdomain or it might be your service providers imap.bt internet or something like that if you're using that or imap your hosting company and for outgoing we're going to need your smtp so same thing it might be smtp your domain name .co or .com. those details should have been given to you so you're going to need your email address your password your username which nine times of ten is nowadays your email address and those two settings for your imap and your smtp with them in hand let's go to the dex desktop now to add it on there let me zoom in so you can see what's happening go to the far left open your mail program i'll drop an icon if you haven't opened it so you know what you're looking for so far left go to mail and you'll see we've got accounts and we've got add accounts let's go to accounts first that pops us this window. We can click add an account and you'll see that you can add not only uh, your own business emails, you can add uh, emails from Microsoft Exchange, Google and stuff like that. Those protocols are already known. So generally all you need to do is put your email and your password. We're going to be using add others, but I want to show you how you can get to it as well from another location. So if I X out of that, so if we go to top left, add account, I'll bring up this box very similar to the other one. So we select that one there, add all that, continue. Want the business name here. Now, if you've got accounts, uh, departments and shipping departments and dispatch, and that person is likely to receive emails from multiple departments, uh, it, you could add accounts there and so in this case, this email is from Scott Tracy. Put the password in, we'll click sign in. Nine says the 10, uh, it won't. Someone's got auto discovered, but it might not go in automatic. So we're gonna come out of that for a moment. We're gonna now need those additional settings. to so your IMAP address. Now it might, uh, it's obviously not gonna be the same as this, so it might be, as I said, IMAP, it might be mail dot your domain name, or it might be your service provider's name. Outgoing is in this case, I'm just pasting that. In this case, it's SMTP, so SMTP. Now username, it's picked up the username automatically, but if you're having issues with the username not being the same, just copy and paste. As I said, in this case, it, it is the same. On other servers, we've had it where all the special characters, the hyphen and the dots were replaced with uh, other characters just to make it more complicated. So with all that checked, we click sign in. That's it, that's as quick as that. So what do we want to be synchronized? So we're gonna say mail, and you can also, in this case, have its own separate set of notes. So we'll say done. That's now done. If I move on to the left-hand side, there's a unified box there. So if I've had 10 email accounts, all emails go to their separate boxes, but they also are unified. So all inboxes are showed at the top. It's safe to just go in, into different folders. But in this case, we wanna go down. Let's close this one. We wanna go to this new one. I said I'm turning, looking around the screen. If we go down on that one, We'll see the inbox, we'll click the inbox. There's that one that has come through. So don't forget to tap subscribe, like, share. If you are finding this helpful, I am gonna be doing videos how to put the signature on both the desktop versions and on the mobile versions. Now, if all that's gone great, 
super now if, if you are having challenges with the ports which your ports might be different if you go back to the top left go to settings it'll bring up this box we want to go across make sure we're on the right account so we want to go to the one we just added and if we go to server settings apple will try to automatically detect what port it is and assign that port to it now if it's assigning the wrong port you're going to have difficulty sending and receiving emails so in that case get, come here deselect this and then change the port to the corresponding port you've been issued and again if you've put in something or spelt um, made a spelling mistake and something isn't working you can also correct it here so to deselect and same with your outgoing deselect and change the port to the corresponding one these will work lovely, so I'm going to X out of that. So now we'll head over to the iPad, set up the mail on there. So what you're going to need to do is go to settings. On the left hand side, scroll down to apps. Now we could type in mail, because that's what we're looking for. Or you can either scroll down if you want to here, or if you tap M, that'll jump to the M section. So we go to mail, mail accounts, we want to add a mail other add a mail account here we're going to put the business name or the person's name the email address the password you generally can't copy and paste passwords so we're going to just type this in we're going to need to possibly enter it again uh, it would be nice if you could turn it on so you could see what you're putting. So business name, email address, and password. Now it wants the additional information. We're going to choose IMAP so that mirrors the data across all the devices. So the I'm going to copy that. Do that again. Copy. Post name. Paste. And it's going to be incoming is imap dot the domain name in this case username is the email address password we've already put it in once the host name in this case is smtp dot username is the email address again the password We'll put this in. In fairness, I haven't tried it without it, but I know it needs it. So, so that's a password. Next. Now, if this has worked, and I've entered all the details correctly, we should see a column of ticks on the right-hand side. So it shouldn't take too long. It just needs to check each of those relevant settings. So IMAP host. Incoming, yeah, that was correct. Yeah, there we are, we're super. Now on the desktop, we chose to synchronize notes. So I'm gonna just do that and save. So now the account's saved. So if we go to the mail program and go to mail, and if I go to the one I've just added, which is there, there's that email. But again, it's telling you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm going to show you again how to do the signatures at the bottom of the emails and also how you can, what you call it, create mail lists and newsletters. So you've got an email account. Let's get some good use out of it. Now we're going to show you how you can set up your emails on your iPhone. So what we want to do is go to settings. I don't know where I left it. There we are. Settings. What we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom or look for apps because Apple may change this. So we're looking for apps. Now you can type in mail here and then it'll bring will take you to mail or if you just you can scroll down if you want to or if you tap m it'll jump to the m section select mail mail accounts there sorry and an account the account of types we want as i said uh these are pre-configured for the likes of google and yahoo and that we want other we want to add an account so the name in this case it will say it's right and again as I said, if you've got departments it might be worth dropping in the departments 
the username or the email in this case I don't know if I've already asked if you know who the character is or what TV program this Scott Tracy was from drop it in the comments yes you can google and cheat so that's the email address I'm going to copy that because I know I'm going to need it the password I'm 99% sure you can't copy in between the password so you can't turn it on to see the password unless it's, it's in the settings if anybody knows any different let us know in the comments so that's gone through because some on some uh, applications you can turn on a little eye and see that you've got it correct so you almost got to double check that you've got that correct the host name I'm going to because I've got the email because it's part of the same domain we take that out the host name or the IMAP the incoming is IMAP so I M A T well username in this case is still the email address so I'm just going to paste that in password it's remembered the first one we typed in host name this is for outgoing and outgoing is SMTP smtp dot and again uh, check your know, yours might be slightly or you it's not going to be the same obviously but just just check your configuration username is the password um, username is the email address in this case the password it's you're gonna your password will have a mixture of uppercase lowercase and some weird characters if it hasn't then it's not secure enough you want it to be semi-complicated doesn't matter if it's overly complicated because you've only got to remember it as you're setting up once worst uh, obviously making sure stick it in a password manager so you know how to retrieve it if need be that's gone we'll say that's all done imap so if we get this correct the first time we should see a column of ticks much the same as what we did on the ipad just double checking now i should have double checked before yes scream of yes so the amount of times i've done that on uh clients devices and it hasn't worked either because we've or i've typed it incorrectly or they've got the wrong settings or something like that um we do website design we generally don't do it support if you do need it support there is now we know a, t a team of people and they're really great so yeah if you are struggling with that let us know and um i can point you in their direction again it ain't going to be free so that's all done so we're going to close that oh while i'm here let's go back to mail accounts if for some weird and wonderful reason it hasn't worked uh or your settings are different and it's not using the default so we can go to account so the account is set up and you need to change something if we go down to here we can go we're going into the settings we can change port numbers and stuff like that we'll cancel go back or if we need to advanced settings for any additional things so serve incoming emails so we can change the port numbers here but hopefully go to the now you've got your inbox which is the aggregated box for all your accounts this is the one i've just added so we'll go there uh we'll forget you can yeah we'll forget about this uh here you see receive the email that's all nice and uh, work what we want to do is obviously don't forget to like subscribe I'm going to show you how you can do things like your footers at the bottom of your emails which can also include a request for a review link so if you're a business and you want to drive reviews which you should be doing for seo benefits i'll show you how you can include that in there using a particular tool that will actually manage your reviews and stuff like that so it's not just a link it's more sophisticated than that 